So Kramer's rule can be extended to the three variable case. And so Kramer's rule for, rule for three variables states that the solution to the system of equations where the first equation is a1x plus b1y plus c1z is equal to d1. The second equation is a2x plus b2y plus c2z is equal to d2. And the third equation is a3x plus b3y plus c3z is equal to d3 is given by what you would expect. x is equal to dx over d, y is equal to dy over d, and z is equal to dz over d, where d is the same in the, as the two-variable case, except now we have three variables and three equations. So now for d, we write the coefficients of x, y, and z. So the first column is a1, a2, and a3. The second column is b1, b2, and b3. And the third column is c1, c2, and c3, right? Then dx, remember how in the two-variable case we found dx by um, replacing the coefficients in x with the constants and then writing the rest, and then writing the coefficients of y as usual? You do the same thing here. So here for dx, you replace a1, a2, a3 by d1, d2, d3. And then you write the coefficients of y and z as usual. Now for dy, as you can expect, it works the same way. So you write the coefficients of z, of, of, sorry, of x and z but then the coefficients of y, you replace it with the constant terms d1, d2, and d3. So d1, d2, and d3. And finally, for dz, you will, you will probably not be very surprised to know that you write the, co the coefficients of x and y as usual. But now you replace the coefficients of, of z, which are c1, c2, c3, by the constant terms. So you write d1, d2, d3 as your last column. And, of course, d is not equal to 0 since, remember, we're, all, we're always dividing by d. So that's Kramer's rule for three variables.